A clarion call and strong warnings from the nation's leader as intensified efforts in the fight against crime starts now. Well, more than 60 new police officers have been added to the fight against crime, with 30 to 40 more expected to join this year. Additionally, police have received 50 new cars, with more on the way, all in an effort to ensure saturation patrols can be sourced. But the government isn't stopping there. Prime Minister Perry Christie is leading a relentless pursuit to break the back of crime. He says he recognizes that while police intensify their efforts in the war, so must the justice system. The nation's leader and the national National Security Minister dissected the National Crime Plan exclusively with our Clint Watson and tonight he begins the week-long series looking at the reformation to to the justice system. Some 462 persons are out on bail for serious crimes. Some 42 I'm told for murder. Well there are a number of issues that arise. One that we have to stop that. As a solution to this age-old problem, the government beginning in March will open 10 criminal courts geared toward attacking those backlog cases, but also prohibiting those accused who have been remanded from getting bail since their cases haven't gone to court in sufficient time. We expect to have a new paradigm in play come April at the latest, which means that new judges will be appointed albeit on a temporary basis, new prosecutors, that swift justice will be seen by the Bahamian people to be in full flow, and that this whole aspect of criminals being allowed out on bail to commit further crimes, hopefully will be brought to an irreducible minimum, if not stamped out completely. And I'm therefore seeing that as a major new plank in our move forward, where we once and for all will not sit down and just allow the justice system to be played in the way that is being played by criminals and even the people who represent them. National Security Minister Dr. Bernard Otis reiterates that critical to reducing murder and other violent crimes is the public coming forward with information, particularly family members who know what their relatives are doing. But he admits there is a high level of fear as witnesses and those with information regarding crime, fear especially being identified. The Christie administration has moved to address this concern. There are provisions for the public to call police anonymously with information. Then, thanks to new legislation passed, there is a witness protection scheme. We have Witnesses can be uh, accommodated in uh, places uh, of safe in safe houses uh, where they can be assisted with their daily living and where they can where they will be protected at all times by by the system either by police officers or or otherwise as it's required and so um, and we we have had persons who have assisted us in that way over the course of, of the years which has led to us being able to have now incarcerated many very um, vicious criminals. Now in our next report, the Prime Minister talks about saturation patrols and how it's expected to impact the crime dilemma. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.